The Sunland Park Derby Day card drew the largest crowd of the season on a sun-drenched afternoon. The All Sources handle was a record for both the track and state of New Mexico. They saw El Paso owner Kirk Robison and Sunland trainer Henry Dominguez strike twice early as 12.22 won the Harry Henson Handicap for the second straight year and ran her local record to 7 for 7. They were back three races later with Imco Spirit in the Bill Thomas Memorial. The day's co-feature was the $200,000 Sunland Park Oaks. Princess Arabella was the overwhelming favorite as she looked to duplicate her stablemate Plum Pretty's romp here last year. Princess Arabella a track gallop. Another dynamo from the Bob Baffert barn. Princess Arabella coasts in by seven lengths. It wasn't 25 lengths, but it could hardly have been easier. According to Bob Baffert's assistant, Jim Barnes, it was exactly what they wanted. Brought another great filly here to Sunland Park, Princess Arabella. I presume you saw what you came to see. That's just what we wanted to see. You know, she caught a flyer out of the gate and never looked back. So Now on to the $800,000 grade three Sunland Derby. Baffert had two chances, including race favorite Castaway, coming off a victory in the Southwest at Oaklawn. The hot local team of Robison and Dominguez attracted a lot of support for Isn't He Clever, written by Luis Contreras. And Texas raised Steve Asmussen hoped to grab his first Sunland Derby with El Camino Real winner Daddy Knows Best. $400,000 in graded earnings awaiting the winner at the end of a mile and an eighth on a fast trap. Here's Robert Geller. On their way and cast away the best away on the inside, away well into Knievel and showing early speed is Daddy Knows Best on the outside with Isn't He Clever, but no real hurry here out in front. Cast away on the inside and then the Knievel, stride to stride, neck and neck. Three away Isn't He Clever gets a beautiful trail in third. Up on the outside is No Spin, stirred up's about five off the lead on the inside as they head out the stretch and Daddy Knows Best behind those runners is off the heels of No Spin. Two length Tequila Factor, second last and last is just an old song. Racing away together here, cast away on the inside. Ender Knievel, the outer, they have staged a terrific battle in the early part, and they zip through that opening quarter, there's six in front. A very nice position, isn't he clever as third, brings the brigade forward. Then came no spin, stirred up on the inside, length to daddy knows best. Two and a half tequila factor, second last, at last just an old song. They're in their own private war up front. Ender Knievel on the outside and cast away the rails by three. Isn't he clever's had the run of the race and is going ever so well. A length away is no spin. Daddy knows best in the center. Stirred up on the inside as they bunch up and he's off and running on Isn't He Clever and he's gone on by Ender Knievel and cast away and has gone to the front as they head to the three furlongs. Isn't He Clever the new leader in the Sunland Derby? Running home is no spin and Daddy knows best and a length and a half away stirred up. Well back to Keela Factor and just an old song. Isn't he clever? Luis Contreras opening up on them. Ender Knievel is beaten, running into second spot. Daddy knows best and no spin. Then stirred up and back on the inside. Castaway is going to run at the back. But it's Isn't He Clever down the lane, the one to catch. It's Isn't He Clever by three lengths. Daddy knows best starting to make some inroads. Daddy knows best is inching home on the outside. Isn't He Clever starting to tire. Here comes Daddy knows best. And Daddy knows best trying desperately. Daddy knows best gradually getting there. And Daddy knows best is going to be the best. Daddy Knows Best wins the Sunland Derby. Isn't he clever second? Seven away, stirred up third, and then came no spin. Daddy Knows Best just keeps coming to wear down and determined, isn't he clever, for a three-quarter length victory. Stirred up with seven lengths farther back in third, with no spin fourth. Julian Leperu's patient ride was a key for Daddy Knows Best. The Scat Daddy Colt earned $400,000 for longtime Asmussen clients Bob and Kathy Zollers. The running time was 148.59, just off the stakes record. He paid 940 as the third wagering choice. We were talking earlier about he was going to have to work out a trip in order to get it done. Looks like he did a good job of that. He ran a really good race. Julian gave him a great ride. Um, very glad to see this horse have success on a race of this level. It means a lot to me to win a race here at El Paso. You spent a lot of time here as a youth, finally win the big race. Now, when you looked up on the backside and there were two horses going along a pretty good clip, 46 and change, it had to make you feel like you had a shot down the line. Well, this horse has the two mile and an eighth races he's had. He's won now and stuff, so you felt good about the pace scenario with him having success at this distance already. You know, and uh, he had to work really hard to get by the local horse, but he did run a good race. I, I know you have to see how he comes out of the race, make sure everything's okay. 
what do you think the plan would be? Well, absolutely. We, we came here trying to earn our way to the Kentucky Derby, and uh, we, with him having success in the longer distances, uh, we feel really good about it. So Daddy Knows Best punches his ticket for Kentucky and answers the all-important dirt question. Isn't he clever? Picks up $176,000 for second, and the favorite castaway succumbed to the pressured pace, finishing seventh.